In our treatment study, we're looking at a way of trauma processing that has been developed by Frank Corrigan in Scotland, and it really starts the processing at the foundation of the stress response. So when you're faced with a stressor, the first thing you do is you orient to the stressor. And when you orient to a stressor, you engage head and neck muscles. And the first thing we ask individuals to focus on is when they bring up a trigger in their mind, you know, what happens in terms of their tension in the head and neck. And we process them with that with them very gently. We just ask them to hang out with that tension. And over time, usually that tension decreases. And then the second part of the treatment involves what's called a pre-effective shock response. So before the emotion even sets in, so you orient to a stressor, and then often you have this pre-emotion shock, which is <gasps> that kind of pre-effective shock, we call it. And that's often associated with tension behind the eyes and in the shoulders. So that's the next part we process. And then we help people process the visceral feelings associated with the trigger or the trauma or the moral injury. So that visceral sensation. And that's what we focus on next. And what we see is that, you know, after we do this for a while, the way people see themselves in the world really changes. So our hopes with this study is to really uh, personalize treatment for post-traumatic stress disorder more and more. And, you know, some people have difficulty tolerating some forms of trauma processing. And in my experience, this treatment has been more gentle for some individuals. So individuals who haven't been able to tolerate certain uh, trauma processing are able to tolerate this form of trauma processing. And I think that's what we need to do. You know, we need to find more and more adjunct treatments for post-traumatic stress so we can really personalize the treatments.